Welcome back, everybody. We are at the entrance to the castle, and uh, in the meantime, I went back and picked up uh, that persona we fused for Naoya. So let's get in here and take out Aki, and hopefully find Kandori. And Naoya is... That's unusually informal for Maki. Nanjo's concerned. Place the compact half. And does it work? Yes, hopefully. Open up. Yes, we're in. But we lost the compact. I'm sure Kandori is laughing himself hoarse right now. So. Patsies. <laughs> All right, I really want to finally get to Kandori, so let's hope he's in here. Oh, wow, two steps in the door. We are ambushed. I <clears throat> also found out that uh, Nanjo's voice actor with the deep voice is actually Troy Baker, a.k.a. the guy who plays everybody that isn't Nolan North. Also, I think it's hilarious that I get access to the world arcana just casually, because that's a big deal in other games. Like, the world arcana is not something you can just go around fusing willy-nilly. This has to be the boss room. Yeah, Kandori! Someone's collapsed on the floor. Oh, it's Reiji. Reiji's the unconscious one. Or Reggie? Reiji, I'm thinking. Hang in there. Mm, damn it. <laughs> Youth oft destroys itself. A common failing of headstrong boys. You bastard. Kandori, we meet again. Oh, that's a little late there, Nanjo. We've been in the room for like 30 seconds. You've messed with us for the last time. You low-down, dirty coward. I'll shove your dirty tricks down your throat. Aki, he's not your daddy. Don't you know that? <laughs> you can't hurt daddy. That probably sounded terrible in the microphone. I apologize. It seems you've endured unspeakable hardships. All for vengeance's sake. Where's the compact? Give it back. It's right here. The two compacts reunite in my hands. I have you to thank, young man. You sneak. What's your plan for the compact? Show them, Aki. And she says, Erusir Sai Mom again. This is going to be really cheesy when we find out why she has a magic spell that's Mommy's treasure backwards. Aha! The black portal. A mirror. It's my ambition given shape. Now witness its power. It's going to give you moles. That doesn't look good. You wanted a Hindu temple in the middle of the city? That was your plan? Oh, cool music. What is that? Don't tell me that's our town. That's right. It's my new castle. I call it Deva Yuga. A worthy name for something that will usher in a new shining era. The whole town disappeared. It, it really didn't. Kandori, you devil! I can't believe you did that. This mirror of chaos is just what I've yearned for. Oh, crap! <laughs> chaos? We don't need to bring that into this. How exquisite. It's no mere compact. You've all seen its majestic power. I've acquired the power to make my desires reality. Power over the dimensions without need for the Deva system. Yes, I'm starting to see now. The compacts and the Deva system were only laying the groundwork. Now, I will become a god on Earth, and a god has only one duty. To wield the rod of judgment upon the wayward human race. 
I would feel like most gods have more than one job. I get it. You're planning on annihilating humanity! Of course! That's what everyone in Japanese games is trying to do. Like hell. I won't allow it, Kandori. Such senseless defiance. Masao! K. I'll now return to the real world. Do you despise me? If so, then follow me there, after defeating this! Are you gonna summon a giant mechanical rat? No, you're gonna summon... Animal from the Muppets! <laughs> sort of, in a toga. Objects of one's desire cannot be easily obtained, but the joy of overcoming obstacles to obtain them is the highest bliss. So speaks your new god. All right, boss fight time. Wait! It's showtime. I'll make you dance. A dance of death. Sourva. Ooh, cool. I love this music. The boss theme. Boss themes in these games are always awesome. What? Nanjo and Mark start the battle hurt from his lightning. That's, uh, that's kind of cool, honestly. Ah-ha-ha-ha! -ha -ha! Are you really sons of man? Wow. Double levels up. <laughs> Yo, Reiji, you still alive? Where is he? You dummy, we told you you couldn't do it alone. He went back to our world. And what are you waiting for? Hurry after him. We can't. How the hell do we beat a guy with that kind of power? Never mind that. How do we even get back to our world? There must be a way. That's the kind of bastard he is. He's still toying with us. Reggie's right. There must be some way. Huh. For once, we are in agreement. Yeah. Maybe there. The place where there were rumors of people being spirited away. The Haunted Mansion! I used to sneak in there all the time when I was a kid. Mom would get so mad... It's in the same place here as Seabeck is in our world. It's certainly possible. Alright, we have our next objective. Aw, oh, give it up already. Some things are impossible no matter hard, how hard you try. We've been wasting our time from the start. Oh, come on, Brown. You can't give up. Isn't this about our world? Your future? Are you just going to let someone walk all over it? You're fine with throwing it all away? Well, I'm not. I like this town. I like all of you. I like... Me! And I can't just stay quiet and watch the things I like be destroyed. It's just not something I would do. Alright then. Alright, your leader's back in action. The worse the bad guy, the stronger the hero looks. Let's go. The things we like, huh? Looks like no one has any more complaints. Let's go to the Haunted Mansion ASAP now, yeah? Uh, we're back, because apparently I'm an idiot, and it's right here next to the black market. <laughs> I just walked up and thought I was like, oh, I don't know what that building is, so I'll check it out. And it's the it's the dungeon we're supposed to go through next, so here we go. Oh, hello, people, scientists. In truth, we're not from this world. The trouble is we can't go into the room with the machine that will get us home. Could you please take a look for us? Okay. Scientist! We can hear the ghost of a woman crying in that room. The others say ghosts don't exist, but none of them will actually go in. Some scientist you are. Damn it! Kandora used us for our research and then left us here. Vi incense. And the Reaper guy. Great. And this looks like another one of those black rooms. Yep. Uh, I can't actually go in there at all. I must have to come in it from a different angle. More scientists. Going after Kandori, it's too late. His dreadful scheme is in motion by now. I'll decide when it's too late. The dimensional passage on the third floor was unstable. If we don't hurry, it could become completely unusable. That guy right there. Only Dr. Nikolai realized Kandori's true nature. Well, I suppose it's too late now. But we should have stopped Kandori by any means available while we could. 
Well, that's what we're doing. Ah, another floor. I don't think I've seen one of these in years. All right, I'm feeling boss room here. So let's do this. You hear something? Sob, sob, I told her so many times not to come here. She'll get lost. Maki, where are you, Maki? Did you just hear it say Maki? Hmm, it sounded rather like Maki's mother to me. I've been telling you I don't have a mom. Maki, is that you, Maki? Come here. The door doesn't seem locked. What should we do, Naya? It may be a trap. Should we go in? Of course we should go in. Ooh, knocking things off my desk. So it was a trap after all. Let's do this now, yeah. Maki? Oh, Maki, I finally found you. You're safe. That voice. There's no mistaking it. It's Maki's mother. I've been looking for you all this time. Please, come to me, Maki. Dude, Shades, what do we do? That demon's gonna kill Maki. We gotta defeat it now. But that voice, that's Maki's mom, I'm dead sure. Isn't it? I don't know why she'd look like that, but what if it really is her mom? Put your weapon away, Naoya. Uh, listening to Mark has never steered me wrong. So let's at least try lowering our weapons. Ah, oh, getting happy music. It is Maki's mom. Oh, and she died. <laughs> Not really. Whoa, rocket zoom over there. Mark, you're blocking the shot. Move. <laughs> isn't this... This isn't the infirmary. Oh, it's the haunted mansion. I was just having a dream about this place. See? Maki's mom doesn't exist in this world, so... This has to be her. But what's she doing here? You okay, lady? Yes, I'm alright. Maki used to get lost at this haunted mansion often when she was little. I'm used to looking for her here. I was just dreaming about those days. I was searching for her in this huge mansion, and I heard Maki call out to me. I don't remember anything after that. Um, miss, I'm not your real child after all. What? Allow me to explain. Ellipses. And that's how we saved everything. Oh, so that's it. You're the Maki of this world. But why don't I exist here? Uh-oh, the dimensional passageway is about to disappear. I'm sorry, lady, but we gotta chase down Kandori. Doesn't she want to come with us? Alright, just give me one moment. The dimensional passageway is very unstable right now. Someone has to stay here and operate the machine. What? No, we can't leave anyone here. I'll do it. Don't worry, go ahead on your own. Though I'd be grateful if you came to get me when this was all over with. Hero Mom! Miss. Yes, speak quickly, there isn't much time. I don't have a mother, but if I did, I'd hope for one as kind as caring and caring as you. We'll beat Kandori and save your Maki while we're at it. Yes, please do. Thank you. Ellipses. Now get going, all of you, and be careful. Zoop. All right. Now will we finally get to chase down Kandori? What did he call his palace again? Something Deva Yuga. Yes, Deva Yuga. To Deva Yuga. Aha! We made it. I think we're just getting a flat screen of Deva Yuga. Aha! I don't feel so good. Huh, <sighs> I feel sick. You must be tougher than you look now, ya. Yeah? Probably because it was a forced teleportation. Really, we should count ourselves lucky we came through in one piece. Can you stand up, Maki? Ugh. Let's go, come on. Oh, okay, she's casting a spell! Up we go! I'm okay now! Get a grip, Hidehiko. You're the leader, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
Sure I am. I was just messing around with you guys. I'm totally fine. Just watch me. Grrr. <laughs> How was that? A leader's got to lead. Repeat after me. <laughs> just kidding. Peace sign. Oh, it's Misty. <laughs> no, he's really not. Naki. <laughs> he's painfully unfunny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brown. My only rival is Nakai from the Judas Brothers. I don't know what that is. A certain guy in a knit cap can't beat me. I'm sure if I was Japanese and from the 90s, I would get that reference. What an idiot. Agreed. Well, those and blunt scissors can be useful in a clever man's hands, I guess. What? Someone's over there. It's that old scientist. Dr. Nikolai. My head. Hey, the old dude survived. Something seems weird about him, though. Oh. Let judgment fall upon the foolish humans. Mankind needs no future. Ruin, annihilation, destruction. Destruction, destruction. Let judgment fall on mankind. Let the music of destruction ring out. Dude, what has gotten into you? Come on, why are you talking like Kandori? Aha! Because he's already a little more than my double. In fact, humans around the world already share my desire for annihilation. Why do you want to destroy the world? Why does everyone want to destroy the world? What the hell are you talking about? You madman. Have you brainwashed the entire globe with that mirror? What? Everyone following a unified ideology. Doesn't it sound wonderful? I've accomplished something no ruler has ever achieved. I have transcended the human. It's preposterous. All I need to do now is give the order for them to kill each other. And everything will be over. A fitting end for a species of fools. Why go to all this effort to kill everything? Nothing else will be hurt. Only mankind will be wiped from the planet. But why? Why do you want to do this to people? Thank you. That sounds rather unlike you, Maki Sonomura. How do you know my name? The mirror's power affects all. You children are no exception. Can you still reach me where I await? Uh, back in Devil, you go. Okay. Wait, you coward! Damn it, follow me, everyone. Yeah, well, I'll just go on without you. Oh, we're already in Deva Yuga. Okay. Well, I guess we're moving on here. Let's make sure everyone's at top health. All right, we made it back basically to where we were. I entered that room we were almost in before we died, uh, and has these two guys in it and these boxes. So, of course, the boxes explode. Up with that. Humans hate and kill each other, ruining the planet for their own desires. We're a complete failure as a species. Humans only think of themselves. Better that they be wiped from the earth. This Kandori guy has a messed up philosophy. And of course, three steps out the door. Quite literally, I'm attacked by my least favorite of the enemies in this entire dungeon. I'm, I'm getting better at spotting the dead ends before I hit them. There seems to be... Oh. <clears throat> Mankind doesn't need a future. You think so too, right? My head hurts. Let judgment fall on mankind. What's the meaning of this? Everyone's spouting identical nonsense. Well, not you. HP, incense, tanzanite, and metal cards. I don't really know what any of these items are for. I haven't needed them. Scientists. The hammer of judgment will come down on this species of fools. Why was mankind created to begin with? Mankind needs no future. These people are weird. Jewels. And of course. Shades is poisoned. Fine. We have Posa Moody. 
did I do in there? I just assumed I needed to get all of the red to light up, and I was gonna go around the corners, but... Okay, it made a noise like I did something right. <laughs> ah, blundering through the puzzles! This is the only door, and it's got writing on it. Alright, Kandori! Now for real, we're gonna catch you. Oh, yes. Interesting room. That's actually kind of a cool room. Kandori, this is it! I hope you're ready! You guys are so aggravating. I won't let you get in my daddy's way. That's enough, Aki. Stay back. But daddy... Wait in the other room. I'll be with you soon. Okay, daddy. I wish you'd stop saying it. It's, I don't know. It just seems creepy. Stop causing all this pain. Turn everyone back to normal. Don't worry. I won't do anything further. What the hell? What? You turn in... All of a sudden, you're not in the mood anymore? What a bunch of crap. After all we did to get here. What are you living for? What a weird question. People aren't strong enough to live without a goal. Everyone wants something. No matter how small the desire, it gives them the strength to carry on. But if every desire is fulfilled, what's left to strive for? When one's wishes have been granted, the only thing that awaits is a bottomless solitude, an eternal emptiness. Then wouldn't it be better if one chose not to ascend the stairs of desire? That way one's dreams are kept alive. Ellipses. I kept ascending that stair to destroy this worthless world, but it no longer matters. Right now, nothing is beyond my grasp. Ha! The winds of solitude and emptiness blow within me. Such is a god's lot. Boy, I allowed you to come here in order to ask you this. Why do you cling to life? Something tells me this is going to be important. Dumbass, how old are you and you don't even know that yet? We're still alive, so we can do the best we can, every second of every day. You're always so frickin' sulky. It's not good for you, man. You gotta look on the sunny side. We're telling the villain to cheer up. Oh, and Brown's doing peace. So I can be a better man. I'm sick of lying and running like a coward. I've made my decision to look the wrong way and point at the camera. I'm gonna beat you and say adios to the lame fake me. You boy. I haven't heard your answer yet. What are you living for? Well, this is what I told Maki, so I'm gonna tell him the same thing. That's right, our reason for living... We may never understand it, but I still believe in myself. With or without a reason, I'm going to live a life I won't regret. Kandori, just stop this. It's painful seeing you so far out on a limb. What? Surely you must know. The seat of power you've reached by using people is no divine throne. Deep down, you know none of it was your doing. You miserable. You're suffering. You despair at your inability to live any other way. Stop! The same goes for her wish to erase mankind. It stems from one's anxiety for the future. Silence! I want to risk it, but I can't. If only I could disappear. Did you think burdening all of mankind with your fears would make them go away? Ellipses. Why continue rationalizing your neurosis with this grandiose principle? No one knows the foolishness of that more than you. I cannot forgive your offenses against God. I'll cleanse you from this world. Way to go, Nanjo. <laughs> Looks like you're finally ready to throw down. Can you defeat me? Can you protect the things you claim are precious? Of course we can. Then prove it before God's throne. You don't have a throne, you have a rug with a teapot on it. You won't get an easy death. Are you prepared for that? Shut up! That's our line! <laughs> if what Nanjo said is true, there's still time. Stop this nonsense and bring back our town. Our world! You tell a god to condone nonsense. That, too, is a grave sin. A god commands and condemns. It does not lend an ear to the pleas of vermin. Huh, keep dreaming. Kandori, we'll close the curtain on that farce, if that's what you wish. Alright, let's do this. Oh, what am I doing? We're not shooting him with me. But now, yeah, we're gonna Megidola. We're gonna hope to bind him. Nanjo can shoot him. 
He must be expecting Nanjo to be weak to being punched anymore. But no, we cured him of that ailment long ago. We gave him the Juggernaut! Is that it? Yeah, I refuse to accept this. I'm supposed to have transcended man. Apparently not bullets. Who am I? I am Takahisa Kandori. I am the man who transcended humanity. What the? Something's forcing itself into me. Poor choice of phrase there. I are Lathodep? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Did we change genres? Change games? I know we Og Sothoth was in this earlier, but. I are Lathodep? Okay. Ho ho ho, foolish man who has gone astray. I shall give you the power you desire. No! You shrunk him. And in his place... Um... That? <laughs> exactly, Mark. <laughs> Have his body and soul been dominated by the Persona? That was kind of a leap. I am Kandori. God Kandori. Okay! Let's see if he's still weak to being shot. This game has always had Lovecraft influences, very obviously, the series has. Uh, in the ones that I've played, but it's never been quite so overt as to say, yeah, it's it's Nair Lathodep. He's behind it all. <laughs> Maybe that changes as the series goes on. Let's get funky. You know, if you're gonna merge him with some kind of giant floating Buddha, Hindu, something, head, I don't really know what it's supposed to be that he's fused with, but could you at least let him keep his shirt? Okay, this guy has a lot of health. There we go. Mark, destroyer of gods! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, to be defeated, so. You were absolutely correct, young Nanjo. This was the only way I knew. Maybe I summoned you here because I wanted to hear someone say it. Ha! <laughs> I must seem a fool. But I feel remarkably content. Where is the real Maki? Huh. You've solved the mystery of the two worlds. I'm not surprised. Kay, what do you mean? You and the people of your world were mere figments of a certain imagination. Maki Sonamoras. Dun, dun, dun! Huh? What are you saying? What does that mean? You're probably the idealized self of the Maki Sonomura we know. And the town you live in is the world inside Maki Sonomura's heart. Am I correct, Kandori? Yes. And not only her. Mai and Aki are also shadows within Maki Sonomura's heart. All of you are nothing more than aspects of her. No. That's not... That's not true! That's impossible! Maki. Mai. Aki. Simple anagrams. You probably figured it out the minute we said their names. Maki must have conceived of her own paradise in her heart. One modeled off of her memories of Mikage until the day she was hospitalized. No way! Then there was no police station or hospital because... They have no place in paradise. She only had room for what was useful. So the haunted mansion was useful? It's a common sentiment. Shisato and Yosuke were no doubt drawn in by Maki's unconscious desires. When it came to her crush and her best friend, she wanted the genuine article. <clears throat> the trial run of the Deva system succeeded roughly a month ago. But she was linked to the system even before then. Her wavelength must have synchronized with the systems. Once she had internalized the power to interfere with the dimensions, the paradise within her heart seems to have grown beyond our imaginations. And you came into contact with Mai, caretaker of that paradise. Mai. No, that Maki was isolated. 
she had her role for the ideal Maki. To provide the world she'd always wanted as comfort for Maki in the real world. You know the rest. You're lying. None of that makes sense. Then go. Meet your true self. She is here in this castle. But I'm me! This... this is too much. Yes, it is too much. She's been dying for like 20 minutes now. Maki! This is bad, Shades. We should go after her. I didn't realize when I named it Shades, it's my nickname, and they would call me that in character. Maki Sonomura. She needs to discover her true self. If she doesn't, she'll share my fate. Go to her. Don't let her go down that lonely path. You just said you were content. <laughs> what a pitiful man. Now, yeah, we gotta look for Maki. Kandori looks peaceful in death. Yes, he's dead. I'm stealing his tea. Ah, it's protected by a barrier. All right, I haven't gone that way. Oh crap. Wait, is this the room that was locked before? I bet we have to go in here. Oh, hello. This, this can't be. You idiot, why did you kill daddy? Don't you know what you did? Wah. This is me? No, I made everyone suffer. You killed the only one the real me could rely on. No one will save us now, it's all over. There's three Makis? No way, this is some sick joke, right? Maki! No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Calm down, Maki. This has got to be some kind of mistake, right? Stop saying that. That's a lie. This is me. I can tell. I messed up the town, and I made everyone suffer. I did that. Calm down. You were being used, and it sucks, but that's all it was. Okay? Come on, get over here. No, that's not it. Please don't be nice to me. I, I understand everything now. I was jealous of everyone. Wearing cute clothes, walking around town, gossiping about each other's boyfriends, laughing and joking. I envied everyone who went to school and had fun with their friends. I wished that the school and the town would all be swallowed up. Maki. Even if I wanted to do something about it, I couldn't. I cried and I cried. My jealousy and my loathing grew, and I made up an ideal town to comfort myself. Now do you understand? I'm hopeless. I don't deserve to live. Yes, it's all over. Everyone should just disappear. Disappear, everyone! Maki, come over here, okay? I... I can't be with you all anymore. Please, send me back into my heart. Maki! You... you idiot! Why, damn it? Now ya, let's go back into Maki's heart. Wait, Masao. Do you know the story of the foolish girl named Pandora? Huh? The legend says she opened the god's box, releasing all sorts of evils. It applies to Maki. This town owes its miserable condition to her wishes. Rather than save her, we should focus on destroying the Deva system. You, you asshole, how can you talk that way about a friend? If we destroy that thing, what's going to happen to Maki? From the looks of it, the system is keeping Maki alive. If we destroy it, Maki will most likely die as a result. But as long as the system is intact, the fundamental problem remains unsolved. Don't let your personal feelings sway you. A small sacrifice for the greater good. The choice is obvious. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> I had you all wrong. I didn't think you could really be that cold. 
Maybe what you're saying is true, and it's the kind of a logic an adult would use. But dude, Maki might have made us suffer, but she also tried to save us all. I believe in Maki, and I know what it takes. I know she has what it takes to break away from that machine. You said it, man. If this will help Maki make peace with herself, I'm in. <laughs> you believe in her, eh? Yamaoka said he believed in me, too. Man is an emotional creature, I suppose. We can split hairs all we like, but the ultimate decision is made by one's heart. I'll go in as well. Sheesh, you and your arguments. You could have just come out and said so. Wouldn't a clever, mature adult stay here? Unfortunately, as a boy of 17, I'm not legally considered an adult yet. <laughs> when will I learn? You always got some kind of comeback already. Good deeds should be done swiftly. Let's dive back into Maki's soul. Hey, something appeared in the mirror. An actual cutscene. Hey, it disappeared. Now what? We can't get back in like this. Something must have happened at the town inside Maki's heart. With Kandori gone, she's the only one who could have done something like this. Oh, yeah, we still got Kandori's mirror. We just have to make a wish and poof, we're back in business. Oh yeah, we could still do that, huh? Whoa, is this for real? Is Maki resisting us? It seems that way to me. Damn it, what are we gonna do? Huh? Maki must have dropped this, but it won't do us any good on its own. Obtained broken compact. What is it, Masao? It's Maki's compact. Hmm, there's no mirror inside. Hey, the real Maki has a compact, too. Obtained green compact. Let's see here. The real Maki's compact and the ideal Maki's compact. The real one has a mirror. Hmm. Give me that, Nanjo. Please, send us back into Maki's heart. The Compact couldn't possibly have such powers in the real world. If only the ideal Maki's Compact was complete, then maybe... The Mirror of Chaos. Well, crap. Okay, you give me the Compact? Oh, hello. What's in here? Nothing in there, but there is a shard of the chaos mirror. Give me that. Now ya. Yeah. Is that a shard of Kandori's mirror? This size and shape? I think it may fit Maki's compact. Seriously? Maybe we can use this to go back. Let me see that now, yo. It's a perfect fit. Whoa. Ah!
you kids, are you all right? Ow. Huh? I get it. The compact brought us here. The chaos mirror shard fit perfectly. The broken compact has become the red compact. <sighs> Where are we? Hey, it worked. Isn't this the forest where little Maki was? Why have you all come back? What about Kandori? Same to you, lady. Why are you here? I... I don't really know. After I transported you all, I thought I heard Maki's voice again. And when I came to, I was here. But why have you all come back? Allow me to explain. You should know the truth. Ellipses. No, that can't be. It's impossible. What about Maki? What's going to happen to her? If we leave her be, she'll stay that way for the rest of her life, or worse. No. Can't you do something? My Maki. Cool it, lady. That's why we came back. Relax. Just have fate in us. You can forget all about it. All right, Mark. Brown. That's your name. Your name is Brown. Not Mark. One of these days I'll get it. I have faith in myself. That's faith, you cretin. Yeah, faith, exactly. It'll be fine. The dude shows his true colors. After all that stuff about pretending. What stuff about pretending? Indeed, he is innately imbecilic. Not a man to be ashamed of soiling himself. <laughs> Okay, that was not the reaction I expected. Thank you, everyone. Wah, sniff. Was that Maki's voice? She must be just past here. Let's go. That little Maki might know something. Great, do I have to go through another dungeon with no healer? Wait, please, take me with you. Ah, oh, fifth party member. She's my daughter. I can't leave her suffering like this. Very well. However, this forest is hazardous. Your survival is far from assured. I don't care about that. Then that settles it. Come on, Tudu. Tudu? Is that her name? Let's reunite a mother with her child. The house. We've made it. Maki, is it you, Maki? Wah, mommy! I'm so sorry, Maki. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mommy, mommy, what? Can we get past the kid talking in kid language? Are you calming down? Uh-huh. Maki, we want to help you. The real you. I know that sounds weird, but is there anything you can do? No, -uh, nothing. Why not? Aren't you also one aspect of Maki? Aki wants to make this world go away. She went to where the really bad me is. There's another one of her? The really bad me is called Pandora. Aki broke Pandora's seal. Pandora swallowed Aki, and now she's trying to make this world go away. But if she does that, well, I'll die. What? Then how do we get to Pandora? The school. She must be beyond the door we found in the library. Am I correct? Uh-huh. But you'll need the three compacts, and my energetic self's help. Energetic? Oh, you mean the ideal, Maki. We have the three compacts, don't we? Didn't you have two already, Shades? Red and green, huh? We're still missing one. Where's the final compact and the ideal Maki? Please save the energetic me first. It's all my fault. My energetic self is crying deeper in the forest. There's more forest, huh? There's another Maki behind this door? Then I'm coming with you all. You guys okay with that? I mean, she's come this far. Let's go, Naoya. Alright, more into the woods. 